effort to make this place livable is astounding. To no end what we accomplished when there are credits to be made. more about what you take with you when you leave me on than what you bring in. and we open fire. So, what was the plan, Asha? Smuggle the Aurora into Kiel City or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it, so... Honest mistake, right? Can we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it! Let's go! Catherine Luzion keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder, yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. I'm just so... and has some influence here in New York. I wonder how Mr. Vane feels about that. care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here, but this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. You can count on my help if you play by the rules. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. You should take his words to heart. That would be Benjamin Bayou. He's out to squeeze every credit he can from the people of this city. He doesn't much care who gets hurt in the process. He's also got a seat on the Council of Governors, which proves that if you've got enough credits, you can buy anything you want. Good. Consider whether your obligation to the Rangers outweighs whatever may usually pass for justice in Neon. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton. 
does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. Believe it or not, yeah, it was. My mother's an executive with Ryujin, so I grew up here. I volunteered for this post as much to keep the other rangers out of trouble as any other reason. If some hotshot rookie took this job and started flashing the badge everywhere, it wouldn't end well. Stay out of people's business until you can't. Be willing to let the small stuff slide. Don't break up a fight unless it's getting out of hand. Most of all, don't assume that badge will protect you. Of course, Neon's full of desperate people who have nowhere else to turn. For some, it's a drugs. For others, it's gambling. There are a lot of ways to lose everything <laughs> in this city. My rule is simple. If someone brought it on themselves, then I don't get involved. Rangers are supposed to exercise good judgment. I'm one person here. I can't help everybody. The best I can do is try to protect the ones who are innocent. And believe me, it's a full-time job. This is Neon. There are no guarantees. And who I find trustworthy, talk to him or don't, it's your call. Come on. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank. City. Yeah, I read all the reports. I learned quickly that a neon staying in flow and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. So I wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he could. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not. There are two things you don't do in need. Captain, well, you understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Keep that in mind, you'll fit right in. You don't want to pick a fight with me. Second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of the good ones, people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of ship jackets. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? 
Everything in Neon has a price. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Please, just hear me out, okay? I need to know I can count on you. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. An all too familiar story in this city. Yeah, but I never thought I'd be part of one of those stories. Did my best to stay out of trouble, but... <sighs> found me anyway. The only one that matters around here. The Sayoka Syndicate. They pretty much run the city. With that being said, rumor has it that Emmett Goodman is on the outs, so they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. From where I'm standing, it seems like our problems are intertwined like a couple of fuel lines in a thruster assembly. <laughs> yeah, sure they do. I'm not scared of you. Yeah, I understand. I'm not trying to be difficult either. I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? Okay, okay. Had to try, right? The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Well, what about me? You just gonna leave me twisting in the wind here? If I were you, <laughs> I'd get the hell out of Neon and start over somewhere else. Can I help you?
trying to exercise me. And it's healthier, but I feel like it did help. So come on in. Enjoy some unique company. And toss back one of our exclusive velocity cocktails. Madame Squash. When I tried Aurora once, I did not enjoy the experience. Free Star Ranger and his. What are you? A sidekick or something? Now that's what I call real conviction. So, how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the Ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right, so I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? <laughs> Look. They didn't tell me what they were gonna do. How was I supposed to know they were gonna go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It, it's not that simple. Hard to argue with that. Maybe I can make an exception. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? <coughs> I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. 
That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you, he's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Works for me. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Suits me. I'm getting too old for this line of work. Besides, I'm going out on a high note. Ain't many can say they grabbed a ship right out of Hope Deck. Should make a good story for the kids one day. What a city, am I right? when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great, but at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. It'll take as long as it takes can't rush a job like this. 
One thing I can promise you, though, is that it'll go a lot faster if I don't have to answer silly questions. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is, a start. What did you learn from this starship thief? Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. They said she was a child prodigy, which probably explains her arrogance. Even so, she was fiercely loyal to Major Hull. I don't think she'd ever give him up. If you find her, don't expect her to cooperate. Like what? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, deputy. 